How's it going folks? Welcome back to The Average Garage. Now today, this is something every single Pajero Sport owner, QF, QE, doesn't matter. You need to know about this because it catches a lot of people out. If you've been somewhat active on any of the Pajero pages on Facebook, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and hopefully this video gets to you before it happens to you. Anyways, I'm gonna show you a massive problem that these cars have uh, in relations to the spare tire. Doesn't matter whether it's stock, doesn't matter whether it's aftermarket, they all have this issue. So let's crawl under the car and have a look. Right, so here you can see we're looking at my aftermarket wheel that's under the car and I have a spare wheel adapter. This is one of my very early ones, hence why it's unpainted. I do actually sell a newer copy of these. If you have an aftermarket spare tire, you do need one of these. Otherwise, this lift plate no longer lifts up the aftermarket spare wheel. But that's not the problem. That's a problem, but not the problem. Can you spot the issue here? Now this isn't an issue until you go to lower the rear wheel. This is the excess chain dangling down, right? It's worked its way through this little gap here. Now, if you know physics, if you know science, whatever it is, I don't care. But if you've ever seen a post on Facebook about it, you'll know exactly what I'm about to say. If you lower this spare tire as this is with this chain dangling through, this will lock solid. Now there's two ways you can fix it. You can wind the wheel back up into the car, then try and wriggle it around and dislodge it, poke it back through the hole, then you can lower the wheel. Sometimes people have jammed them up that tight that they've actually needed to cut these free and use extra tools to unbolt things and it's a mess of a time. So a two second tip that will save you a hell of a lot of heartbreak and drama is before you lower your spare wheel, crawl underneath, while this is all still loose, give it a bit of a jiggle, poke that up into the hole, just like that. So now it's up through that hole, it's not in that hole. Now it's not gonna be a drama. I've seen them come through wheel lug nut holes. I've seen a whole bunch of weird shit through spokes, especially the stock wheel, cause the spokes are nice and tight together. So yes, be aware of that. It'll catch you out every time. Also, if you buy aftermarket wheels, hit me up. I sell these wheel plates on my Facebook page. Check it out. They're cheap. They're nice. Nice little bit of insurance. But anyways, that's a trap for new players. So be sure to be aware of that. And yeah, before you even think about lowering the spare tire, uh, check that because it will bite you in the ass in a very inopportune time. Probably while you're stuck on the side of a busy freeway while it's 40 degrees out and you've probably got screaming kids in a car or something silly like that. It's always how it works. Same with intercooler hoses, but yeah. If you need a wheel plate, hit me up. If you buy aftermarket wheels, the spare wheel um, lifter will not fit. Now, for those who are saying, oh, I've bought four aftermarket wheels, but I've got a stock spare still, uh, I don't need one. Technically you do, because if you blow one of the wheels, unless you're leaving that aftermarket wheel with a blown tire on the side of the road, or you've got plenty of room in the car, uh, it ain't coming with you. So <laughs> you're gonna be trying to jerry-rig something up on the side of the road and you could potentially lose it. Um, if you do get it to hold up for a short period of time and it drops, it hits the back of your car while you're doing 100k an hour, not gonna be fun. Anyways, that's a bit of a PSA. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next episode. Cheers.